Hey, this is Pat with High Level Freaks, and today I'm coming at you with a tutorial that's gonna help you leverage QR codes like this with the power of the high level CRM so that you can offer your clients that do uh, events or appointments, uh, you can allow them to check in clients by scanning a QR code and tracking that person through their system when they show up for their appointment or show up for the event. So before we dive in, be sure to uh, like, subscribe, uh, you know, share, comment, do all the good YouTube stuff so that everyone else gets to see these cool videos. All right, so let's dive in. Now, why would you want to have a QR code uh, that lets people check in like this? So uh, I don't know if you've been to a movie lately or anything else like that or any other event where you've had to purchase tickets and you get your digital ticket and when you show up at the gate, you show it, they scan it and then you are checked in and everything like that. This is what this system does with high level and QR codes. So as a case study let's or, or use case, let's say I have my med spa client and she regularly does wine and Botox events. So a wine tasting event with a... Uh, a company called Scout and Barrel that they sell wine and everything and they host the event and then she shows up uh, and offers her Botox services. So she sends out a big database reactivation message to all of her clients and then when they respond or they RSVP that they're going, they're going to get this QR code in their email. So when they show up, she has her assistant scan the QR codes and it literally checks people in so she can track exactly how many people showed up to the event. And let's say another thing, let's say if she's going to have a prize at the end of the night and you have to be present to win or you have to have checked in to uh, to win the, uh, the prize, you can actually tag people that come in uh, off that QR code and that checked in at your event. So that way you know they were there uh, and so that they're eligible to win the prize. So there's all kinds of applications for this, like, you know, checking in for an appointment uh, with a first come first serve. You could add people to your um, pipeline in the order in which they check in. So the person uh, that's at the very top of the pipe or that uh, that stage in your pipeline, they're going to get served first and then the next person, the next person, the next person. All kinds of stuff. Like I'm like, Literally, it's only limited by your imagination as to how you can use this. And that's why this tutorial is going to be a little different. We're just going to basically show you how to build it and provide a funnel with the instructions instead of providing a full you know, snapshot and the whole thing because there's so many variations in how this could be used. Okay, so let's get started. I'm going to show you exactly the steps that you need to do to replicate this with your clients so that you can offer them QR code check-ins. Okay, so it's basically three, four, five steps, okay? So we're gonna look at this real quick and I'm gonna walk you through each one of these steps, all right? So step one, we need a check-in form. So the check-in form is uh, what the, like the target of the QR code. So when I scan the QR code, it's gonna take me to the check-in form and populate that form with the user's information. Not my information, but with the, the user's information. And then we'll be able to submit that and get them checked in. So let's complete step one and I'll show you exactly how we're gonna move on with that. So right here in high level, if you don't have high level, you can get a 30 day free trial uh, down here. And if you do that and you sign up through our link, we're gonna give you lots and lots and lots of goodies, snapshots and all kinds of stuff. But if you already have high level, you know where to create a check-in form or where to create a form. You're going to go into uh, sites. We're going to come over here like this. You go into sites and then you come down to the form builder and then you can build your form. So I've already got a form built here and it really only needs to be a very basic form because you're going to be checking in people that, uh, you know, that show you the QR code or your staff or your VAs or whatever, right? So really we just need full name, email, phone number. Uh, when you do add the phone number, it does add the, the check box. So when you check people in, you check the box and you can click the check in button. And what we do with the form is we come over here to the options and really the form only needs to be uh, just a message on submit. 
Now the big deal that you or the big uh, the big thing that you want to make sure of is that the form does not do sticky contacts. What a sticky contact in it is in a form is if I go and fill out a form and I come back to the form later it's going to have all of my contact information in there from previously and it's going to have that contact ID and it will update that contact ID. Since you're scanning QR codes and filling uh, and it's auto populating with different people's information, you don't want that form to be sticky. So once this is built and this is literally super easy, you just drag and drop the, the elements into the form like this, like first name, that sort of thing. We're not going to use first name. We're going to get rid of that, but that's how easy it is to build the form. So once you have the form, what you want to do is you want to come over here to the integrate button and you want to copy the form link. Okay. We're going to copy the form link and then I'm going to come over here and I'm going to paste it into my favorite text editor, Sublime Text. You can use Notepad. You can use the, the Mac text editor, whatever you want, right? So we need to have the uh, embed link for the form because that's going to be where the QR code takes us when I scan that QR code. So let's move on to step two. Step two is going to be the really cool part that's going to let us pass all the information we need to pass into this form. So if you don't know what a trigger link is in high level, a trigger link is basically a URL that is registered into high level. And it's kind of like bit.ly or anything else where you're tracking links and all that. Uh, but what it allows us to do is it allows us to create a nice big link and pass information if we need to pass information like the name, email, and phone number of the person clicking on the link. So high level tracks trigger links. So if I send you a trigger link from the CRM, then your information is going to be attributed to that link. So high level creates a unique link for you. So when you click it, it knows that only you click that link. And then I can do stuff like trigger workflows and follow ups and emails and text messages and do all kinds of stuff just by you clicking on that trigger link. But what we want to do with the trigger link in this case is we want to pass the user information. And this is the very easy way to do it, right? So what you need to do with creating a trigger link is we're going to pass contact information in a query string. So a query string, you've probably seen it if you've ever clicked on a link on Facebook or anything else, you see all the extra fields up in the in the address bar, right? So that's what we're gonna add to our uh, trigger link here or our form link right here. And I'm gonna go through it real quick and show you what this is. So we're gonna be passing the contact ID. That is the high level contact ID so we can track the exact person that is in that form when we check them in. We're also going to be passing the email, the phone, and their full name, right? And you'll notice that this says, like, you know, question mark, contact ID equals uh, the custom field. Well, that's that's what's, uh, what, what's cool about the trigger links is that when the trigger links get sent, all that information gets filled out with the contact information. So that is really, really cool. So it allows us to create these unique links for every single user. And that's how the QR code works because everyone gets a unique QR code. So um, the way query strings work is that you have the key and the value. So I have the key is contact ID and the value is going to be the contact ID in high level. Um, and then you have, you know, email, phone and full name and you add them to uh, your query string like this. And you'll notice that is how the, the URL will look. It's going to be, you know, question mark, contact ID equals the contact ampersand. And so it's basically saying like key and value pairs. And, it, and that's a good way to pass data into a URL. Uh, just don't pass anything like super sensitive, right? So all these fields are in high level. It's This is all going to be in the funnel share that I'm going to give you. So you can copy and paste and not have to worry about retyping all this stuff. But so... I've got my form link here like this, and then I've got all my information here. So let's copy all of this. I'm going to Command C or Control C in, in Windows, and I'm going to go to the marketing link and then down to trigger links and create a trigger link. And you can see I've got a bunch of links already created for uh, testimonials and bookings and things like that. So this is what's cool. Uh, about trigger links. I can create all these and then use them in my automations to pass information back and forth. It's very, very cool. So we're going to add a link like this and we're going to call this um, like QR check-in and then I'm going to just paste that URL, okay? 
So that's what it's gonna look like there. Let's go over to the next page. And you can see that we have uh, my uh, little um, form link here. It's this, this is my direct link to my form link with the contact ID and the email and the phone and the full name. So now that I've got that, let's go to the next step in building our dynamic QR for check-in. This is really the, uh, we've just done kind of the, the most complex part with creating our form link and our trigger link. Uh, so the next thing is to actually add the QR code into the emails that people are gonna send. So you might be asking yourself like, well, how do I, you know, how are these people gonna get these QR codes? So this is the deal. Like if it's for any event, let's say somebody books a, an in-person appointment um, or they sign up for an event, like, you know, the Botox and wine party, um, uh, car detailing or uh, a movie premiere and whatever, whatever your client is doing, right? And where people are gonna show up uh, and you want to keep track of them. Uh, let's say like, I just went to an event for electric vehicles uh, out of state. And then, you know, like when the event started at the fairgrounds, everybody had to go and check in. And at the time they were just getting your name and, and looking you up. Whereas with this, they could get a QR code, scan it, boop. And then I'm processed. They give me my swag bag and I'm on my way, right? So it speeds up the process of registering and checking in your your customers and your prospects. So uh, to get them into uh, the workflow where they're gonna do that is really up to you. It could be a lead form in Facebook. It could be somebody sends a text message uh, with a keyword and they get registered that way and you process them and get their email and phone and whatever and add them to a workflow. The goal basically is to get them into the workflow so that you can send them this check-in QR code and then you can do whatever you want once they scan the QR code and fill out the form. So let's go and add the QR code to the email. So I'm gonna come over here to automations and let's see, where is this thing here? There we go. I've got a, an automation built already. If you're uh, new to high level, automations are basically the core of the CRM that it, it basically drives all of the lead generation and, and all of the things that happen inside high level are done with automations. If you're uh, familiar with high level, you should be very familiar with creating a workflow automation, right? So I'm not gonna do anything with the trigger for the workflow because again, like I explained, you could find all kinds of ways to put somebody through this to get them the QR code for checking in. We're not gonna go over every single case here, but the, uh, the what we're gonna focus on is actually sending the email with the QR code, right? So what you wanna do is that you're gonna have your email that's gonna send out to your customer. I use uh, custom values for the business name and email, and we'll just use something like uh, contact, dot first name here's your check-in code right so we're going to send that uh and so then down here in the uh email formatter here and if i don't know if you're if you're using snippets or the email template whatever this is a very easy way i mean you can you can use whatever uh, uh email formatter or formatted uh, uh template that you want if you have a template created uh or anything else you could certainly use it i kind of just like to use the plain email editor inside the workflows so we're going to need to create a link that creates the qr image now this is the really cool part of it um, there is a great service out there that's absolutely free, okay? It's absolutely free. It's called uh, qrserver.com uh, or api.qrserver.com. So we're going to come over here and we're going to copy this link right here just like this. Now, we need to be able to pass in the trigger link so, the, uh, uh, so that the, the QR code creates the data. So like this, let me just show you an example. So let me see like HTTPS google.com okay so now if i paste this into my browser i want you to see what it does it builds a qr code so this if i scan this it will take me to google so that is the uh the the what we want to use uh or we want to use the trigger link for the data of the qr code the rest of this is just telling it what size and the quality and how big the margin should be and stuff like that so what i'm gonna do is i need to be able to get our trigger link into the QR code data. So I'm gonna come over here like this and I'm just gonna 
add the QR code right there, okay? Now, you could technically use this inside the email, but then someone would be able to click it and check in. Uh, we really want to have them uh, get scanned when they check in, right? So I'm going to cut that link and I'm going to go back to my text editor and right here uh, where I've got the link in here and this link is also in the funnel share so you can copy and paste, right? Uh, but it comes down here and says uh, create the size of 300 by 300. I want the quality uh, medium and it's got a 30 pixel margin and the data where I want to send them is the QR, or uh, sorry, the trigger link, right? Now you'll notice when we built that trigger link, it had the, the name, the email and all the links and everything else like that. This trigger link will be very, very short and it won't have all of that. Well, it will have that data when they click it on, on scan and go to it, but this will only uh, show them like a very, very tiny URL, right? So uh, that's really cool because it kind of hides the data that we're sending. So I'm gonna copy the QR code link like this, and then I'm gonna come over here and click on the insert image. And the source, I'm gonna come in here, and I'm gonna paste it just like this. It already picks up the height is 300 by 300. And then I save. And look at that, it's actually in there. That is really cool. Now here's the thing. This image, it would actually be broken because it's trying to go to that weird trigger link value. But the when they get sent to emails, I can scan it and it will be the proper link. And I'll show you that in just a second. So we're gonna save the action here like this. We're gonna save our workflow. And then we're going to test this workflow. Let me see if I can actually prove, you, prove to you that this is gonna work. So I'm gonna run the test. And so what will happen is I will get an email with that QR code. Now, let me just come over here and it's gonna take me a minute to get that email. So I'll pop, pause and come back. Okay, so I got the email and you can see here that I've got it. It says, Pat, here's your check-in code. You can see that, well, maybe if you scroll back a little bit in the video, you might see that uh, the QR code is actually a little bit different. Here is what it looks like on my phone, okay? So what I'm gonna do is when I get to the event, uh, whoever's running the event is going to say, hey, uh, do you have your, your uh, ticket, right? So this is a good way to make also an e-ticket, right? Uh, something else that you can sell to your clients. And so the customer will say, yeah, sure, here you go. And then they're going to scan it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open this up in my phone, okay? And I am going to load up my QR code scanner. And then what's going to happen is it's going to actually show the link and i wish i could show you the link like what i'm looking at here but it actually highlights the qr code and i can click on the qr code and what it does is it goes to uh, the form and you'll notice and it's very hard to read with the video but on the form it actually has the data all filled out and so all i got to do is to check myself in and this is i scanned the client's phone I am the, or I scan the customer's phone, I'm your client, and then I'm about to check that person in, and ta-da, it says Pat Friedel is checked in. Now, what could happen from that is that you could trigger a workflow with the form that just got submitted. You could also submit, um, you could also actually um, trigger a workflow off of the trigger link click. So let's say you're literally triggering, triggering a workflow off of me scanning a QR code and going to the link. So you could trigger that, that could say, hey, welcome, uh, you know, and, and all that stuff uh, here, you, you know, be sure to stop by uh, the prize booth and register to get your swag bag or whatever prize or make sure you get your coupon or your free XYZ or something like that. And then when we submit it and check you in, we could actually use uh, custom value math and increment the number of attendees and update that on a website. I mean, there is literally a million different things that you could do once you actually submit that form to check that person in. So this is how easy it is to get somebody in with a, uh, a, a event registration e-ticket type of QR code uh, flow 
inside high level. So make sure you use this in your AI automation agency. Uh, I mean, there's like lots and lots of tools. This isn't AI, but it is automation. And there's lots of really cool uh, uh, use cases for this. Uh, hope you enjoyed this uh, tutorial and uh, be sure to get the funnel share below with all the instructions. We'll embed the video in the instructions as well. So you can watch this whole thing, go through it step by step and set up uh, a snapshot and workflows for your particular niche that you're going to work with. So again, uh, like, subscribe, comment, share it with your friends, share it with your enemies. Uh, you know, we love you, uh, uh, you know, enjoying our content. Let us know what you think in the comments and have a great day.